Minneapolis. You have just watched one of the great championship games in NCAA tournament history. And it's time for the presentation of the championship trophy. Dr. Mark Emberts here from the NCAA. Bernard Muir, the chair of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Committee, to present to Coach Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, please join me in congratulating Texas Tech on an extraordinary championship uh, game. It was remarkable. And now, Bernard Muir will present the championship trophy to the University of Virginia. Congratulations, coach and team. Tony, what are your thoughts at this moment? Just like all these recent games, high drama, heart-stopping drama, and your team in overtime just got on a run. How did you guys do it? They did. Um, I don't know if all these guys will remember this, but when they come into my office, I got a poster of Rocky on the steps. And I told them, I said, I just want a chance at a title fight one day. That's all we want. And these guys came to fight in this title, and now we're the champs. And I'm so thankful because this is a great story. Um, I played a song for them today called Hills and Valleys by Torrin Wells, and it just means that you're never alone in the hills or the valleys, and we face those from last year to this year, but the credit goes to these young men, and I can't wait to celebrate with my wife and my kids and my parents, and I do want to thank the Lord and my Savior. How about one more? The turnaround, the character, Bill Raftery spoke of it on the air, Grant Hill the character it took for your team, not only to live with all of that from the last year, the painful loss, the painful gift is what you called it, but to go through these games like Purdue and Auburn, this game going to overtime, could you speak to that? Well, we have a saying too, the most faithful wins, and these guys stayed so faithful, and obviously we, we had some amazing plays. This is about the young men. They made the plays, they did this stuff. Coaches get too much credit when it goes well, and they get too much blame when it goes bad. These young men deserve this championship. I'm so happy. Go Hoos! And how happy were you that your dad was there to see his son win a championship? <laughs> well. My dad said if I ever got to the Final Four, he'd come and play Augusta with me, so maybe you can get us on that course, all right? I'll work on that one. Congratulations, Tony. Uh, let me bring in DeAndre, come over here. 27 points, a career high. 22 coming in the second half in overtime. I even saw the timeout, Mark, it's 17 seconds left in overtime. You could see the emotion all over your face as though you knew the dream was going to be realized. How does this moment feel to you and your teammates? Um, it's surreal. Uh, it's, it's a goal we set out at the beginning of the season. Uh, we, we knew we were going to bounce back from last year, and uh, we achieved our dreams. Hey, Ty, come on over here. You too. I mean, the adversities this team faced. You used to sit up in the stands with your dad at a, that Final Fours, dreaming of having your chance, and now you're here with confetti on the floor, and it's for you guys. How do you put that into words? <laughs> uh, I can't, man, I can't. And, you know, there's more than I ever dreamed of to share it with this group of guys and these coaches and this whole program. It's a, it's a dream come true. Kyle, a oh, quick word from you, Kyle Guy. Maybe Saturday was a harbinger of what was to come in overtime. Virginia was 14 for 14 from the line in overtime which is phenomenal. Could you tell me something, though, all of us, about that team tonight that you guys faced and how great an opponent Texas Tech was? Yeah, they were, they were phenomenal, really well coached, really well disciplined. Um, I told every single one of the players I got a lot of respect for them. Um, but for, for us to, you know, come in clutch like that and hit the free throws in overtime, I mean, we, we practiced this. And, and, and to see it come to fruition, I'm speechless. I, we have one more thing to do. There's a bracket up here. This has become, here it is right in front of us. And it's time, Tony, we want you to put the sticker on there and make it official. 